I'm sorry. Did you just turn off? I'm now nervous. You better not turn off, you little bitch. Okay, where's my wine? Did I forget my wine? Wow. Hold on. Keep my wine. Welcome to What the Sweet Fuck. I'm Megan Tonjes. I'm Nicole Fodi. This is where we talk about all things fuckworthy. What are you here for this week, BB? Um, I am here for... Uh... I'm here for these blue hue lights in the background is what I'm here for. Oh, yeah? You like that? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I hate I'm you so here much. for a potato named Doug. I can't with you. Why, why are you trusted with this? Why? Listen, like, for some reason, I guess, whoever decided to start writing down, like, the biggest, the best, the longest, the oldest versions of things, Mr. Guinness, okay. whoever it was. Um, yes, yeah, Sir Guinness. Potato. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this potato uh, is 17 pounds, well above the current potato record of 11 pounds. Wow. That and potato just, literally looks like a fucking butterball turkey. I would like to say that if I saw this in the ground, not a bone in my body would recognize it as a potato. <laughs> I can tell you I'm not digging deep enough in the ground to ever find anything like that. I would think it was a body. I would be calling the police. <laughs> yeah, and then you'd be making a nice stew. Ooh. I did just get an air fryer hot pot and it is life-changing. Oh my God, I made fish today. I just put everything together. I put it in there, a little air fryer, eight minutes. I opened that shit up, bitch. It was fluffy. It was white. It was falling apart. I, it's life-changing. I don't know what we did before these inventions. <laughs> uh, ordered Uber Eats. <laughs> Ate McDonald's fries. And now I can make them. <laughs> Here's my question for the, for Sir Guinness, you know, is who is to decide whether or whether not I am perchance a potato? Because I just, I want to sign up. Like, I want to send in my registration. Like, who's to say, like, who's the biggest, baddest bitch? You know, like, I'm just saying, like, who's gonna, who, can I insert myself? And then, like, what happens? Someone comes and they look at me and I just, like, they circle around me a few times and, like, 10 times in a row say, I'm the biggest, baddest bitch. And then, like, I'm the biggest, baddest bitch until someone wants to fight me on it. The, it's uh, potatanges. Ooh. Potatanges. There are so many reasons people get um, records like that. And I want to know where, where's our record? Where's our record for longest running internet show that's making no money? <laughs> where's our record for like longest amount of time anyone's gone without really making a living off of it, but it's still kind of fun. <laughs> where's my fucking plaque, dude? You know, I think I think we could secure that. We could secure that bag. And they're giving out like daily vloggers and shit like that. I'm just saying that like, where's my prize? I show up every day to nothing. (laughs) To myself. Nikki and I definitely deserve some kind of accolade for what we've done. Yeah. For just the, the experience. Yeah a blessing unto you you know what another blessing unto you is Mm. um and this is what i'm here for this week look at this little possum oh my gosh there's an instagram called possum therapy and this possum saying love yourself look at that little boy love yourself just telling you about self-love baby just telling you possum memes Mm -hmm. i mean he looks real serious about it too like bracing himself with his fingers that possum has a goddamn world record. I promise you. Something's going on. That that possum showed up to work that day. <laughs> I know that people hate possums and they're ugly they, and they are very jarring to look at. Uh, yeah. I've, I, when I was in LA, I saw quite a few little possums skittering across. But there's something about something that's so ugly that I love. It's the ugly cute quality. And also yeah. like it's, sometimes they can be really cute. But sometimes I would say <laughs> dead of night and you yeah. see the little beady eyes staring at yeah. you. 
Yeah. The shrubbery. I just feel like if I can be your friend, I could be a possum friend. <laughs> I've seen the light hit your eyes in the middle of the night, and it's not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scare the shit out of you. You ever seen a drunk Nikki running around New York City carrying a Christmas tree? How do you think I feel? I, that's what I see every time I look in the mirror. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I want a possum. Do you think it would be uh, uh, unusual, perchance, if you saw me with a possum on a leash walking around in the middle of the night? Like, does that feel, I feel like with this sweater too, I feel like that would be the look. I mean, I would love to see it. What if I had a possum that I taught how to do like little tricks, like balance things on its head? And like, that's like how, speak. that's how you made your money. Like it was just, it had its own Instagram, got sponsored by Burger King, you know? Dude, that possum will get sponsored by Burger King before I would. That's trash. I mean, but also, you know who loves trash? My possum, hashtag spawn. <laughs> this week, I want to talk about um, something that happened. Mm -hmm. It's something that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. I don't feel like I would be enjoying myself. And I don't oh, know no. if you saw okay. this, this story per chance. Um, I'll read you the title. Mm -hmm. which is oh wait this ad's blocking it fuck you dude. <laughs> disneyland visitors left stuck on pirates of the caribbean ride for 90 minutes after it breaks down i saw this and i <laughs> i i don't know how i would feel in the moment like dude you get to be on the ride for 90 minutes that sounds like the best I heard that they were right at the part where like um, they're making Jack, uh, Jack Black. Yes, Jack Black. <laughs> <That's him. laughs> they're making Jack Sparrow. I, I barely understand. I don't even remember this ride, but they're making someone walk the plank. Someone's walking the plank. People are running around in a scurry. Oh, uh -huh. And that this was just playing on repeat. Oh, no. And then, eventually, and then eventually died. And then everything went quiet. And then it was like time just kept passing. Oh, and eventually, 90 minutes later, some employees had to like get in full on wading gear, like booties, whatever, get in the water, push the boats over to get people out. Wow. You know, I'm surprised that story even got out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm <laughs> shocked that that story wasn't live streamed directly from the ride. <laughs> Disneyland loves to, you know, sweep any happenings under the rug that happened. Oh, and this story was 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 popped up yesterday and it, i struggled to find it today so i know that the pr team over at disney was working all the time yesterday yeah i yeah. almost bought uh disneyland like pass thing the other day and i went and looked they put their christmas stuff up on november 15th and i'm like okay mm -hmm. let me let me plan this right now it's mm -hmm. literally blacked out reserved for the entirety of when it's decorated for christmas and i'm like yeah. well no point. Hello? I'm not going to do the California resident annual pass unless I'm getting the cheapest one. Yeah. And unless I can see Mickey Mouse in a fucking Santa hat. Yeah, yeah. If I'm not seeing Mickey in a Santa hat, then what the fuck is the point? I had that one good year with the Disney pass. It was a pretty, it was a pretty solid year. Yeah. But what, what it required was me to be like pretty much unemployed and like... <laughs> And have an extreme desire for corn dogs and Ursula on a Little Mermaid ride. Yeah. Dole whips, baby. That's what I was there for. Dole whips all the way. Um, one of the last times I went to Disney, I had a, I didn't have this bad of an experience where I was stuck in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride for 90 minutes. So, you know what? Out of all of the rides, probably not the one I would have minded. I feel like I actually would have jumped in the water at some point, probably gotten some kind of like infection i'm sure but you know, would have been, i would have i would have jumped ship instantly <laughs> i would have been on the side of the thing being like please send someone to get me <laughs> i had a i had an experience where it was like every time we got to the front of a line the road the ride broke down it was like it, it was like we documented it. it was like we got to the front of the cars ride it broke down we right as right as we were about to get on we got to uh space mountain and um what's his face David Beckham and his kids showed up I guess to like have a private tour and so they shut that shit down there's like there's there's posh spice over there just hanging out you saw her um, I surely did wow I, I didn't surely did know this 
Oh yeah, yeah. Listen, I got wow. stories, baby. You breathed I in the proximity air. I did. We were in the same little little area, and I didn't even go up and do nothing. I just looked at her wow. with her sunglasses on inside, and I was just like, "It's enough that we're in the same space, babe." Wow. Um, and then and then oh, and then we went. <laughs> then we were on um Splash Mountain, I think, mm. because I remember us going up, and as we were going up, about to get to the top of whatever, that shit stopped. And we were sitting there and it did not go. Oh, and they no. had to literally come and get us and like pull us out so we could walk down the little like ladder area, whatever, and come down. And then I think we got some kind of pass to go on whatever we wanted, like go to the front of the line for whatever, you know, they block out certain yeah. rides. But I'll tell you what, I will take a broken down Disney ride that's level on the ground all day over my fat ass being pushed back against gravity. And then with my back trying to like pull myself up to get on to some, no, 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 no. So that was one of the last, and then I, and then my friend, like, I feel like passed out or had some kind of seizure and all that. I think that was also the day my grandma died. There was a lot going on. <laughs> Or maybe I'm like mixing all my Disney trips together. But mm -hmm. one of the last Disney trips, I think it was the actual last Disney trip I went on uh, that my grandma was dead and my brother was with me, but he wasn't telling me yet until we got home. And he knew the whole time you were- And he knew the whole ride. time we were at Disney. That's and I was just sitting there in my goddamn bliss, naivete. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, well, first of all, uh, with rides, it just kept breaking down. <laughs> Um, but you know, and then I came home to a dead grandma and so it just really killed the spirit, but you know, they're going to put, uh, you know, Christmas hats on Mickey this year. And so I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> Can't bring my grandma back, but that's okay. Because you know, um, the magic kingdom. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. Let me go to giphy.com. <laughs> I don't quite know what this has to do with what I typed in, but I think we're going to go for it. Mm -hmm. um, this is me. Um, I typed in dead grandma. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. What? I just From feel a like you know, music video. Uh, you know, oh. sure. I didn't even see that. That makes sense. That's, I just, uh... I feel disturbed. I do feel disturbed. That I that disturbed. that is disturbing. Yeah, that would be me. I guess that's me. If uh, if any of the rides break down and I'm on them, I'm just going. I'm going to the Lord, man. Yeah. Mm. Um, this is me. Um, <laughs> just celebrating the holiday, you know. Um, amongst all of the the fires that mm. are happening around. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, making sure you know I. I'm in the Christmas spirit, no matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just the the dust and the flurries from all the animals being killed and all the wildfires nearby, uh, just resting upon you and all of your favorite Disney characters. Mm -hmm. That's the way to do That's it, man. What I choose. My favorite part about LA is well, first of all, my favorite part about LA is Christmas time. It's holiday season because everyone gets the fuck out, and it's the best time. It's like traffic is better. It's just it's delightful but i did always love um watching it, the grove and disneyland all these places really like up the christmas spirit mm -hmm. and then you're in 75 degree weather <laughs> it's delightful they try really hard to make it feel like they do parent. they do but then you're walking around in tank top and flip-flops and you're like you know i mean i saw it as the best of both worlds i was like this is delightful yeah but at the same time not you know I'm excited. I am excited for a little cold Christmas this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, that's going to be this whole season is going to be a, a, a new, not a new, but a revisit mm -hmm. of an experience for you. It surely is. And my bones uh, are, I don't know that they're ready, but um, they're craving. They're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're here. <laughs> and you know who else is here? Uh, you know who else is craving these bones? daddy's bones <laughs> these bees <laughs> people wow. love that idea that um, was a genius I, goddamn idea that should be a video game daddy's bones it's just like there's something about even the way the letters sound even <laughs> like the words 
it's just so daddy's like bum. oh my god and i just see like daddy's like daddy's body in like a santa outfit stuck in the chimney like mm-hmm. just daddy's bones <laughs> i gotta go to therapy i gotta go i'm drowning <laughs> Can you imagine everything that's happened in my life and then like I become a multimillionaire off a game based on a dead father who's a psychopath? <laughs> so it's too, don't it's rule too it out. meta. It's don't, too meta. Don't rule it out. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I feel like the designer of my dreams is an audience for what the sweet fuck. And I'm ready. I, I literally see it in my head. I see the Christmas lights. You can get that twinkling. team built. Just twinkling. Um, I really want to put alcohol in this. And I think you should. <laughs> I support it. I encourage it. Okay, wait. Um, yeah, before before yeah. you read the BBs, why don't you get a little blasted? All oh, right. Shoot, I forgot that part. Yeah. I said it and then I didn't do it. It's okay. We then we talked about dead dads, so I, I understand yeah, how we got there. Okay, but um, I know how we got there. I'm always I'm always just a jump, skip, and a hop away from dead father stuff um we want to give a uh, uh, to jeremy shaw jeremy shawshank redemptionist joan joan of arcadia joan of my daddy's bones shaman shaman lemon shaman lemon oh classic shaman lemon lemon sorry shaman We also want to say thank you to Heather Snitch for Lloydies. Heather, shh the fuck. Daddy's coming, Snitch. Jennifer Best. Jennifer, be best because you'll never be good enough for daddy. Cat water flame. Cat, the truth and the light. And please don't burn down the house until daddy gets home, water flame. MJ Dolorico. MJ, oh, my sweet, fat little baby peach Dolorico. Roberto XS. Roberto 3XLXS. And Stephanie. Uh, we also want to thank all the BBs you see on the screen and the BBs you don't see for our ghost BBs. If you'd like to join us and them in the afterlife, please visit patreon.com slash what the sweet fuck. I almost got through the whole thing. You did. I saw it. Um, I'm Megan Town. Just you're here. Subscribe. Say hi. Yeah. Um, um, and yeah. check me out in other places, I guess. I forgot for a second we have our own channel. I was like, wait. <laughs> you are most places to sound awake and also in um, a, lots of other videos on this channel if you didn't, if you weren't aware. Yeah, yeah, there's so many, there's so many, I mean, I'm actually thinking of like adding all of mine into the playlist here. So you can just, you can just fucking just don't go to sleep. Just take a lot of caffeine, stay up, watch every single one, report back with your top five episodes. We're going to be giving a pop quiz at the end. Yeah. And um, we'll be checking notes. If you want to see me in other places, I mean, you could look for Megan Tonjes, but also I just want you to make a wish, look at the Northern Star and go. And I'll hear you. Good night. And goodbye. <laughs> I, I I would like to be completely oblivious to my killing. <laughs> and don't worry, baby, will be. <laughs>